So in question 1 of this exercise, we have to divide the polynomial px by the polynomial gx in each case. So there are three parts and in each part we have to divide the polynomial px by the polynomial gx to find the quotient and the remainder. So we are going to use the long division process applied to polynomials and we are going to find the quotient polynomial and the remainder polynomial in each case. So let's start with part 1. So part 1 has the dividend polynomial as x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. The divisor polynomial is x square minus 2. So let's write our divisor polynomial x square minus 2. Then we'll write our dividend polynomial x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3. Now let's start the long division process. The first multiplier will be x because I have to take x square to x cube. So with the multiplier x I get the terms x cube minus 2x. So I will write that here minus 2x. Then I subtract. I will get minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3. Now the next multiplier is going to be minus 3. That gives me minus 3x square plus 6. And then I subtract again and I get 7x minus 9. Now the degree of this polynomial 7x minus 9 is less than x square minus 2. So the division process terminates at this stage, which means that x minus 3 is the quotient polynomial and 7x minus 9 is the remainder polynomial. So that solves part 1. Now let's go to part 2. In the second part, the dividend polynomial is x to the 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. So there's no cubic term here. And the divisor polynomial is x square plus 1 minus x. So let's first write our divisor x square and then we'll write the ter terms in order. So we'll have x square minus x plus 1. And then the dividend is x to the 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now let's carry out the long division process. The first multiplier is going to be x square because I have to turn x square into x to the 4. So I will need the multiplier x square. This multiplier generates the terms x to the 4 minus x cube. Since there is no x cube term in the dividend, I will write minus x cube here and then plus x square. Now let's subtract. Uh, when minus x cube is subtracted, I will get plus x cube. So I will write that first. So x cube and then minus 3x square minus x square is minus 4x square. And then these two terms 4x and 5 I will just bring down. So plus 4x plus 5. Now the highest degree term in the uh, new dividend is x cube. So I will need the multiplier x because I need to turn x square into x cube. So with this new multiplier x, the terms generated are x cube minus x square plus x. Okay. Now let's subtract again. So minus 4x square minus minus x square is minus 3x square. And then I have plus 3x and then I have plus 5. So finally the third multiplier is going to be minus 3 because I need to turn x square into minus 3x square. So the terms generated this time are minus 3x square plus 3x minus 3. So now when I subtract again I am only left with 8 and the division process terminates at this stage which means that the quotient polynomial is x square plus x minus 3 and the remainder polynomial which in this case is a constant is 8. So that completes part 2. Now let's go to part 3. In part 3, the dividend polynomial is x to the 4 minus 5x plus 6. So there is no cubic term and there is no quadratic term. And in the divisor we have 2 minus x square. So the divisor is a quadratic polynomial. 
so let's write the divisor first with the terms in order of their degree so minus x square plus 2 this is how we'll write the divisor and then the dividend will be x to the 4 minus 5x plus 6 now let's do the long division process uh, so the first multiplier we will need is minus x square because we want to turn minus x square into x to the 4 so with this multiplier the terms generated are x to the 4 minus 2x square so minus 2x square we will write here because there is no quadratic term in the uh, dividend now when we subtract this we will get plus 2x square which we write first so plus 2x square and then minus 5x plus 6 so now the second multiplier we will use is what we need to turn minus x square into 2x square so that will be minus 2 so the second multiplier is minus 2 and this generates the terms 2x square minus 4 and now when we subtract again we will get minus 5x plus 10 and now for this remaining part the degree of this remaining part is 1 which is less than the degree of the divisor that is 2 so the division process terminates at this stage and this means that the quotient polynomial is minus x square minus 2 and the remainder polynomial is minus 5x plus 10 the remainder is a linear polynomial in this case so that completes this part and that completes question 1 To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.